with chapter 5 coming to an end, the OT season is fast approaching, but the main focus is what is coming after that with chapter 6, because this looks like it's going to be an absolutely insane chapter. But guys, if you do pick up anything from the item shop, it will mean the world to me you could use code FFYT when doing so, as this does help support me and the channel directly. And if you'd like to receive a gift, all you need to do is make sure you are subscribed to the channel, drop a like and comment your epic down below, and you could receive a gift very, very soon. And guys, with chapter 6 scheduled to be dropping in just over a month now on the 1st of December, we have some new info regarding this, plus before we head to chapter 6, we will be taking a trip back to chapter 2 with not one, but two live events. Guys, it's going to be crazy in Fortnite, and it's about to be a crazy video, so make sure to stay tuned all the way until the end. Because it's iconic. Now starting off, we are coming towards the end of chapter 5 now and we are getting a live event at the end of chapter 5 that's going to be taking us over into the new Fortnite OG season, which we're going back to chapter 2 for. So here is everything we know about this actual live event. It's happening at the end of this chapter. So the code name is Kill. There's going to be six phases. The countdown is going to be in-game and lobby and it's going to be taking us into chapter 2 OG and then we're going to get another one. Obviously, we'll discuss that in just a bit. But now we have a little bit more information on this today. So uh, there's actually been something sent out which we're going to take a look at in just a second and there's something actually in this which is like a tape so could this actually be an actual concert guys you'll understand why i'm saying this in just one second but we could be getting a concert for the end of the chapter five which if it is this not gonna lie i'm pretty disappointed i was hoping this six phase thing is gonna be pretty cool it's gonna have its own game mode as well so this is hinting even more that it could be a concert which i really hope it's not because i feel like that'd be a really bad end to chapter five but here's the teasers that have actually been sent out to some content creators and i'm still probably going to explain my theory a little bit more now here it is right here this is what content creators have been sent now the guy who received this is uh we're going to talk about him in just a minute in a second but it's different language so the tweet was translated but this is what they received so there's as you can see there is some pins there there's like a fortnite rewind sort of thing there there is that remix right there which is the revacunt remix now this is something we're going to take a look at in a second as well we have fortnite remix chapter two that thing on the left hand side that like gold tape player ah that's what it is guys i've been thinking what actually is this and it's probably uh, a tape player to play the tape i mean i was confused i had no idea what this is and now it just clicked to my head that, that is a tape player to play the tape now let's have a close look at these pins now guys if you actually remember we got these pins last time when they were going to fortnite og we got some pretty cool looking ones and the pins indicate that we're going to be getting a midas meow school skin remix the ripley remix ocean chapter 2 season 3 skin remix sharks returning boogie bombs returning misty meadows returns and zero point butterfly now do remember that the elite roadmap suggests chapter 2 remix will revisit seasons 1 to 3 i've also seen elsewhere that season 1 isn't going to be involved so take that as you will and um, we're not too sure what seasons we're getting just yet but at the end of the day them pins look pretty cool so i'm going to put them up for again right now and obviously you can see there's a shark on there there's a boogie bomb on there there's a midas hand there's all sorts on there guys there's a boom box it looks so so cool and i really wish that i could potentially receive these one day all you need to do is subscribe to help me receive these one day they are pretty pretty cool now this is the actual guy that actually received this and he tweeted this something nasty has arrived from the official fortnite remix chapter two the cassette tape had marshmallow making a song with my my voice the vibes are rising now this tape is actually a remix from marshmallow as we know marshmallow is getting a new skin inside the game now this is what makes me believe that it could actually be a concert and marshmallows remixing these creators voices and it could be like a hint to a concert hopefully not like i mean a concert could have six phases but end of the day i really hope it's not that and uh yeah i hope it's something a little bit better than a concert but anyway sheena actually tweeted this way way back in january of this year fortnite og 2024 version might be different to last year's version epic games is thinking about ways to make sure it's not just the same as last time according to an epic games employee if you had to make changes what would they be guys let me know down below what changes you would make hypex has also tweeted this today fortnite og remix teaser translated it's time to play the b-side of your favorite album do you remember chapter two let's dive back in with fresh beats let's drop the needle and strike gold this season welcome to fortnite chapter two remix now this has uh, had a little bit of a different reaction from a few people cypher saying this over on twitter this is telling me that og chapter two won't be the same as when we went back to chapter one potentially an alternate remix version of that chapter how do you guys feel about it now i definitely think this could be a good change it could be a bad change it's very risky obviously the way that chapter one og was like absolutely insane everybody loved it it's very risky not to just go back to chapter two and just have it as chapter two what everyone knows and loves like the lockdown fortnite kind of vibe but it could be different it could be pretty cool they're trying something new which one obviously see how it goes right here right now but anyway when this actually does come to an end when this og season does 
does come to an end, we are heading over into Chapter 6, and the Fortnite Chapter 6 live event will again end with a black hole like downtime that will last several hours. During the downtime, we'll see multiple teasers for Chapter 6 Season 1. Now, obviously, we're going to see these teasers inside the game. They'll probably have already been added to the game. They'll probably have already been leaked, so make sure you are subscribed so you can find out them before anyone else does, because I'm going to share them right here on the channel. But it's going to be pretty cool. We're going to have a downtime, obviously, for several hours again, which is uh, definitely not cool. That's something that I really don't like about Fortnite, how long the downtime is. But at the same time, I understand they want to obviously build high for the new chapter. But what is actually coming inside of Chapter 6? We have the pro mechanic, swinging mechanic, possible new modes, which could actually be a sport mode, which we have still not discussed on the channel yet. Creative pet sport releases December the 1st as the scheduled date at the moment, but obviously things could change depending if anything goes wrong. And a possible floating islands theme. Now, we're going to find out a lot more about the theme over the next coming weeks, hopefully. I think there's going to be a bit of a change. I don't think it's going to be floating islands, but if it is, I'm very interested to see how they actually do that. Now, we are expecting something else coming into Chapter 6 because Sam tweeted this right here. Reminder, Epic has been working on an ice revamp potentially for Chapter 6. You can create ice on the ground and builds. The ground will become slippery once it turns into ice. It will override the HP of walls 2,500. And just like real life, if fire touches this, it will fall. Now, I noticed in this actual tweet here that fire is actually going to be related to the game at some point. So, could we be seeing something coming in with obviously fire? I mean, we did obviously have the Avatar characters and the Avatar Mythics. And we did have a fire Mythic inside of that. It was pretty, pretty cool. So, hopefully, we see something like that again. Now, this isn't the only change that could be coming into actual Chapter 6. Because Sheena tweeted this as well. Remember, Fortnite could go back to hit scan weapons in the future, possibly in Chapter 6. Fortnite asked players a while ago whether they liked the hit scan or projectile based shooting systems more. A new chapter would be the perfect opportunity to change the shooting system. Now, hopefully, guys, hopefully this does happen. We need hit scan back in the game. I don't like the projectile stuff. Obviously, it takes a while to learn. Once you've learned it, it's pretty cool. Hit scan is a lot more enjoyable to play. You can relax a lot more when you're playing with hit scan. I feel like projectile just makes it a bit too sweaty for Fortnite, and I don't feel like Swart Nights is a very sweaty game. Now, during Chapter 6, we are obviously going to be in December, because obviously the season is meant to start December the 1st. Now, what does this mean for Fortnite, guys? You already know this means it means Winterfest. Now, hopefully, we will be seeing Winterfest again this year. There's been no confirmation as of yet, but we do always see something related to the seasons, like we are in Fortnite Mez at the moment. So, hopefully, Winterfest will be coming back to the game, so you guys can get plenty of free awards inside the game. It's going to be pretty cool. Hopefully, they do it again. If not, obviously, got to wait to see what actually happens. And guys, don't forget, we're also getting Snoop Dogg coming soon to Fortnite Festival. And talking of Fortnite Festival, here are the new jam tracks that are dropping this week. We have Lil Nas X, Montero, Call Me By Your Name, Mac Miller, Empire of the Sun, The Spins, Miles Smith, Stargazing, Sam Smith with Kim Petras, Unholy. Now, guys, I'm going to be honest, I still don't play Fortnite Festival. I don't think I ever will. And I'm really looking forward to the time when you can actually just uninstall the other game modes that you don't play and just have Battle Royale because it really is to come because Fortnite at the moment is over 100 gigabytes and it's taking up a lot of space on my PlayStation. Now, obviously, as well, usually we do get brand new updates on a Tuesday, but I don't believe we're actually getting one this Tuesday. But here is what is going to be coming in the Fortnite update 31.41. So we could be getting the live event leaks, the She Venom Agony Cup on Tuesday, She Venom Agony Item Shop Thursday, Kyron 8 Crew Pack Announcement, Leatherface Skin Item Shop October 25th to 27th. Guys, if you do pick up that skin, make sure to use code FFYT. And then more announcements from Fortnite themselves. Release date is obviously Tuesday or Friday at 4 a.m. Eastern. And I believe this is going to be coming on Friday, 4 a.m. Eastern, 9 a.m. UK time. Guys, that's been it for today's video. It's about to be a crazy couple of months in Fortnite and on this channel. So if you are new around here, please do subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.